thesmartlocal.com When you date, there's one thing that, you know, as Singaporeans, we have to bear in mind. Um, it's best not to bring him home yet. Mm. Welcome to the confession room. Could you share what you are struggling with? Mm. What am I struggling with? Mm. As of now, I'm struggling with like my life, marriage life. <laughs> I don't even know how to put it. Everything is very new to me. So like the fact that I got married at a very young age, at 25, and I got pregnant at 25 as well. Mm, the person that I got married to isn't the person that I truly love, I guess. And he is also the father of the child, so I mean, I guess I had to be married at that point of time. I had no choice. Yeah, for the sake of my child, I had to do it. But things went downhill after one year of marriage. So like the fact that I have a almost two-year-old son now, and I'm like going towards the divorce path, I had to wait for three years because of the law and yeah, so I have about one and a half years to go till the divorce happen. I mean, till the divorce can take place. And yeah, so I'm currently like en route to being a single mom. So I guess that's my struggle for now because I, I would never expect myself to be a single mom, I guess. My worry is that will Jaden be able to accept the fact that he has, um, he is from a single parent family, and we are. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your story. Um, it definitely does sound and look like a daunting task um, going forward. Can I gather that um, both of you are still staying under the same roof? Uh, yeah, actually we still are. We are not in bad terms. We, are, we came to like a mutual agreement. Basically, you're leading like um, separate lives but yeah, under the correct. same roof? Yeah. Okay. Is he putting in his um, responsibilities as a father to Jaden? Mm, I guess to a certain extent, yes. Since the beginning, when I was when I found out that I was pregnant, yes. he we wanted to abort, but I was leaning more towards not aborting the child because I didn't want to. Like mm. it's just not. It wasn't an easy decision and I would say he was still very young. He right. was only 20. Right. And now he's like 22. Right. So, it, I'm, as in, I'm pretty sure it's not easy for him also because at the age of 20, who would have thought that, you know, you're going to be a dad. Right. Know? And I'm on the other hand, I'm like already 25 and now 27. So. Right. I guess it's just bad timing back then and then as of now it's just more like I can tell he loves the child right but we both agreed that he spends lesser time with the child which is often the reason why we always quarrel as well right okay but one thing I can say is this um, going down as a single parent 
we always have to put our child, whatever decision we make, has to be in the child's best interest. Um, and also as a young child of two years old going three, they need to have stability in their lives. So when I say stability, I didn't really mean that, you know, two of you shouldn't get divorced. It's not like that. One example could be this, okay? You say that, okay, he stays with me on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and then he stays with the father on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. Now that is instability mm. because it's too much shuttling here and there. Okay, that's, that's point number one. So you need to give him like a very conducive um, family environment for him to stay. For example, he gets up from school, he probably he attends a preschool, mm. and then he has a regular person that picks him back. Um, and then he gets back home, he has his dinner, wash up, play a little and then, you know, bedtime stories and then he goes to bed. That is when he's in his preschool years. Mm. And of course, that comes to your second, uh, another worry of yours, which was, you fear that, um, how are you going to tell him, how are you going to tell Jaden? Um, you also fear that, um, would I be able to, will he hate me? Um, stuff like that. As to when to tell Jaden, you can choose a time. Now he's about two or three, he may not really have a good understanding yet. Yeah. But when he goes to preschool, um, whereby he has classmates and then they have parents coming to pick them together and stuff like that, you could you know, actually explain to him at that point. Mm-hmm. He will definitely talk about, you know, um, where is daddy, you know, that kind of question. Yeah. yeah. And that's when you can, you know, explain to him that the message should always be this, that both of you actually love him really dearly. It's just that sometimes adults just couldn't live together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it just needs to be that simple at this juncture. I want to ask how, how many kids and how old are they now? <laughs> oh, they, I have four. I have four girls. Oh. Yeah, wow. I have four girls. They oh, range oh. from 24 to 28. Wow. wow. So when I first um, became a single mom, my, my two kids were about two and three. Just like Jaden. Wow. It's like me right now. That's right. right. <laughs> Just like you. I juggle quite a lot um, emotionally mm-hmm. uh, with my kids. I, I, I tend to be like really hot-tempered at that point in time. Mm-hmm. So as a... As a mom, I kind of like really learn along the way. Like you said, you chose a freelance job, which is good to spend time with um, Jaden. Yeah. Yes, but bear in mind that the kid needs quality time. So undivided attention, quality time over quantity. Mm. And then that gets me to the next step, right? So you you definitely, you are very young and then you will be meeting um, um, new friends, maybe you start dating again mm. and all that. So when you date, that's one thing that you know as single parents we have to bear in mind. Um, it's best not to bring him home yet. Mm. Yeah. The reason is because <clears throat> the child is grappling with you know having a weekend father and then he's alone with you and he goes to preschool. And then it really wouldn't help if he sees different uncles every weekend. Yeah. Right. You know, or, mm. or, or every month, you know. Yeah. So it's best to keep our dating life out of his, his home. Mm. Yeah. So when do you actually um, introduce your son to the, your new boyfriend, right? Yeah. It's when you are discussing marriage plans. Actually, I'm a bit curious because like you were saying that you had a two years old and three years old kid, right? Mm. When you were a single mom. Yeah. And then now you have four. Yeah. <laughs> what like how did <laughs> what was the whole like process like and yeah. like, what happened? So, so the marriage didn't last. Th- so isn't this is the first oh. the second one. Okay. Remember that I had you know, I was a single mom when my kids were two or two three years three, old. Yeah. And then I met a man and then I was looking for, and he qualified for everything, mm. you know, to yeah. be a father figure. Mm. Put a roof over our head, I don't have to slot so hard. Mm. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So instead of, you know, even... 
So we had our third and so I had my third and fourth. Okay. Um, they are a pair of twins actually. Oh. So yeah, so that's why it's it's actually three births. But wow, okay. yeah, I had yeah. Okay. And shortly the the marriage won't last because it was not on a good foundation. Mm. Soon when your kids grow up, you don't really need that father figure, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So that's why I'm still single until now. Yeah, but that is what is happening to me right now. This yes. is yeah. So like the whole, my whole marriage, you know yes. we. Okay, like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know whether I should say this, but like, it was only I met my current husband mm -hmm. for only like three months or mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. and then that's how we got, and then we had we had then that's how I got pregnant, mm -hmm. and that's why I, I when I look back right, I know that. From the beginning, we didn't have that, that base, that foundation. We, it wasn't even strong enough to hold our relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So I can. When you said that, I was like, mm, "That's me right now." Yeah. Yeah. I think that I. I'm just more worried that like, sometimes I just can't help but to have this like. Selfish thought, mm. that Jaden is, should be with me. Jaden, is mine. You know, mm. like I get very protective and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, maybe it's the first child thing. I don't know, but like that's how I feel. And sometimes I do. It's very bad of me, but sometimes I do have thoughts like, what if Jaden wants to be with his dad? You know, like oh, I don't know. Like I don't know whether it occurred like this kind of thoughts occurred to you before, but yeah, it does for me. Right. Yeah. Well. That would not be in the child's best interest, mm -hmm. because yes, because um, the child needs to know they, his father. Mm. Really, they do, and it's also good for his father to um, spend some time with yeah. him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, mm. a good father actually does show them the world, how the world revolves around. Yeah. So if we, so if we deny them of that right. Then it really wouldn't be in his best interest. This much, this much I can tell you. Mm. And you don't have to worry that Jaden will go to the father. You don't have to, and you should not deny him of meeting his father and his the side of his family. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah. and it's actually a very healthy um, social. It meets Jaden's social needs. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. I can understand that what you are feeling mm. because a lot of single moms. We feel that way, and and you know that one day that he goes with his family, it's your day off, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing um, your story with me. Mm. So long as whatever decision we make is in the best interest of the child, mm. just take that leap of faith and just do it. So if you find that when you do it and for for some time and it's not working out well, mm. then reflect on it. And see how you can do better, and then do try again. Mm. Yes, especially in as a child is growing up, mm. they will have a lot of they need a lot of support from parents. And you mm. know, being a single mom, you really need to be their father, and you also need to be their mother. Yeah, yeah. So be mindful of that, and have intent. Um, how should I say, intentional parenting. Mm. I think it's nice to even like chat with you because. Like honestly, I, I came here without knowing that I'm gonna be chatting with a single mom as well, and uh -huh. it means a lot because, like what I said, a lot of my friends are very young. Like they are, no one is like, honestly, no one I know of personally is a single mom. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I do feel like lonely sometimes. Yes. But the loneliness. Yeah. But I'm just very thankful that like I did also, like. Talking to you here, and also like me myself, I actually went to like reach out to fellow single moms, yeah. And I didn't felt so alone afterwards. So yeah, yeah. it helps. Like it really means a lot to me. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. Just just know that there are other single moms. Mm, there yeah. are struggles, but we we'll overcome it. Yeah. The light is always at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Yeah. So chin up. Yeah. Eating disorder isn't really talked about a lot. 
locally. I would agree. Yeah, then they say like, oh, you know, please post more content on uh, your fitness and how you, what you eat in a day and like how you work out so that like we can follow this also and hopefully feel better.